and there we go. Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to AH Bespoke, and tonight we are replicating uh, ancient Greek pottery type style of stuff. I um, don't know if you can see the pencil mark on there. Uh, it's uh, Stepnir, um, Odin's horse. There's a little bit of embellishment around the top and the bottom. Yeah. Um, it's uh, basically a, a vessel I turned quite a few years ago now. Um, I don't do turning so much these days. Um, it's a piece of rebar for the stem uh, into the U base. Painted with matte black paint. So we get the two, the black and the uh, uh, colour of the wood underneath. Um, today, my earworms, let me bring these boys in. Boys, look at you. I have the three. Yeah. I have Dale yeah. from Maple Tree Studios, Wayne the Woodturner, and gentleman Mark the Woodturner. Mark the gentleman yeah. Woodturner. There we go. Got it the right yeah, way around. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that's the one. That, they don't bug. Um, hello to everyone in the chat. I'm going to get myself set up because obviously um, I'm going to have to mute myself. Um, and if you want to let us know who's in, um, I think I can see five. So we're doing well. Um, you can do that. Thank you, guys. Um, well, there's four of us here. I know I'm watching. So, <laughs> oh, dear. Um, saying, so thanks, I'm guys. Seven. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, so, cool. I'm going to pop the camera back. You guys backstage. Um, change the cam and shush myself. Uh, let's go to that one. Move it around. Cool. Out in the chat, we have the one, the only, the ever blue and slightly light, the blue light turn of Scott. We have Douglas Mungle. We have the ever lovely Mr. Tommy Dunn. We have the Dutch Tunner, and we have some guy called Maple Tree Studios who's out there warning people what's going on. We have seven Grabbing watching here. Cool. cool. Hi, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the channel again this weekend and all that stuff. Oh, come on, mouse work. Uh, right, I'm going to mute myself. I'll let you guys do your thing. Um, mm -hmm. I'll pop back in a couple of Men's once I've done a bit and then have a chat, answer a few questions and all that. That's all cool. I don't know, we'll ask amongst ourselves. Are we okay with that, guys? Yeah, fine by me. Yeah, yeah. cool. What? <laughs> okay, so what's everyone been doing today? Mark, what have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> making spheres. So you've been Turning making balls. balls. You've been, been making, making balls. balls. Yep. Have you been after you've made them? Have you been playing with those balls? I have. I've been juggling been? my juggling my homemade balls. Okay. Is there is there any other intentions for these balls other than Nope, just practice. Oh, okay. Mr. Wayne, what have you been up to today? Not a hell of a lot, really. <laughs> No, no. Um, I was going to be making a, a vacuum chuck, but I didn't get around to it. Oh, do you feel that's a do you feel that's a problem? Do you feel that's a problem with vacuum chucks that the the people don't can't be bothered making them. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll get around to it. You know, I'll probably chat, get around to it either tomorrow or Monday. In the chat, we have the mini turner. Hello, Mini Turner. We have Circular Keith by Wood. Um, we have Woodwork in 2020-7. Uh, young Scott tells us he's driven 432 miles to the land of to the land of uh, sheep interference. Um, yeah, I Scott had a tour of the UK to go to Cardiff. He did. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I can only assume by sheep interference he means the inability for the sound of the shepherd's whistles to reach the 
the the collie in time to be able to control the ship through the gates. I've seen that on telly. Hello, Marley. Marley, what movies have you watched recently, Marley? I want to get a gauge from where you're at, son. <laughs> Woodworking 2207. Hello. Said, Welcome. Said, said that. You weren't listening, obviously. Again, obviously. I was, but I just thought I'd say hello. No, you're not allowed. Stop it. <laughs> oh, go back to making balls then. No, don't play with your balls. You're getting into trouble for that. Especially if you do it on camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> folks, okay. um, folks, there is a slight risk that Andy's power will cut out. So when it happens, please bear with us. Um, yeah, uh, we have them. I think what he'll do is switch you over straight over to his laptop. Laptop, if it does click out, he will. What will happen though is, unfortunately, you will see because I made the terrible error of coming in first, I will be the one who appears on the screen while he's doing the switch over. I apologize uh -huh. to you all in advance. Um, um, should that happen, ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, the Dutch Tunnel is offering you some advice, Mark. He says you can make money out of it, on but on other sites. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I dare say. Um, Chris and Michael, Christine and Michael are in the chat. Hi, guys. How are you? Good evening. Hello, Christine and Michael. Uh, the Blue Light Turner is offering this question to us. He says, are you earworms having yourself a convoy? Breaker, breaker, rubber ducky. Shut it, you. <laughs> could, you lighten us on, could you enlighten us on that one, Bert? I mean, Mark. Okay, people in the chat, because, <laughs> because I, I just got... <laughs> Because I shaved my beard off and left a mustache, certain people think I look like Burt Reynolds. We're not going to name them, but it was Scott. And Dale. <laughs> I never said you looked like Burt Reynolds. Let's be out. Let's be under no illusions. I never said you looked like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> um, out in the chat, we. Have... I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> no. Wasn't me. It definitely wasn't me. I think I made some uh, 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 Jerry Reed comment. Um, I've lost my thread now. There was somebody joined the yeah. chat. Hi, Doug. Doug <laughs> How are you? So we need a. We need a. We need a. Uh, so we need to be careful here. So Mark's quite sensitive. Sensitive about his moustache. So please, please, people, don't take piss, Don't take the piss out of him. Um, he, it may, I'm not sensitive it may, about it at all. It may, it it may, it. It may result in Wayne collapsing into fits. <laughs> <laughs> and not for the first time. I just, I just find it funny that I've had a beard or a moustache for 30 odd years. You guys have known me for six months and you think it's hilarious. It's nothing new yeah. to me. Douglas Mungham, I uh, say, as I think he's talking to you, Mark, when he says, "But Reynolds, are you okay?" I'm fine. <laughs> uh, Mark, you have uh, sorry, Mark. I apologise, uh, Andy. You have ten watching, sir. And so it comes up. You can really see that standing out against the black, and it's very, very vivid. Yeah, yeah I'm pleased I had that idea. <laughs> <laughs> was, was this your idea, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I was drunk that night. Every night. Every <laughs> Everybody's laughing at that one. <laughs> How's that, Jane? Hello, Jane. How are you? <laughs> Feels asking how you are, Jane. 
I'm alive, Dale. Thank you. Splendid. Splendid. Thank you, Emma. Right, Douglas. Uh, what Andy is using the the goblet is being made from you, and the base is being made from you. He's got a piece of rebar as the stem. It's been painted mud black, and now he's um, obviously carving into it to reveal the wood where he's carving. Hello, Herb Pooper. How are you, sir? Thank you for helping me find my tape measure earlier on today. Tommy Dunn is saying hi, Jane. Oh, Tommy's saying hi as well. Hi, Tommy. Looking his tongue out. I can't remember what it was. I've been asleep since then. <laughs> Have you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I may have had a little nap. You're getting old, aren't you, Mark? Yes. I got old a long time ago. I approve of a siesta. Uh, Douglas Mungham says, Wayne, the cup that he is on looks like plaster or stone. Yeah, I think that's the, the whole idea, Douglas. So both the inside and the outside of the goblet have been painted mud black. Uh, the Dutch Tunnel says something that broke, Mark. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Last week when Ed Oliver was um, doing his second part of his live, he was, he hollowed out the bottom of his vase and I may have suggested that he should um, create a bit of a tenon inside for the base, which he thought it was a great idea. And then this morning, when he was turning off the base, it broke apart. So I distanced myself completely from the idea and said it was all his fault. <laughs> Uh, the blue light tunnel offers this. Eastbound yeah. and down. Yeah, no, loaded up, shut up. <laughs> and trucking. <coughs> or we going to do what they say can't be done. We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. He is eastbound and just watching old bandit run. Yeah, yeah. Herb says he's doing great. It's quite vivid, the, the, the contrast. Looking good, Andy. Looking really good. Folks, um, if you could share this out there, if you could put the link in to your feeds and let's get some more people in here to see this fantastic creation being put together um, as in front of our eyes. This is looking really good, Andy. Yeah, hey. The contrast is beautiful, isn't it? Yep. The blue light tunnel says, you couldn't remember the lyrics you put to it, Dale. I'm saying nothing. I can find them for you, though, uh, Scott. If you requested me to go look for them, I'm sure I could do that. He really doesn't have to. I don't have to, but if I was requested, I mean, I would be happy to. No, I just got not mean the made up lyrics you did. That's the ones he means, yes. Right. I feel okay. so. I feel so. Find them, please. Okay, I'll, I'll have a quick look just now if I can locate them. I think they may be in, they may be, I may have posted them somewhere. I'm so I'm happy that I'm a constant source of amusement for you all. Uh, if you feel very unhappy about Ooh, it, Mama. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take so that under advisement. Uh, oh, here we go. I think I found them. So, uh, folks, this is um, this is a little 
uh, a little reworking of um, um, of a famous Jerry Reed song. I hope you enjoy the 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 the, the change to the lyrics. Uh, we found it quite amusing when we did it. <sighs> Thanks, Herb. Herb shared that. Uh, Doug Miller says Ed's issue wasn't that he didn't gloat properly to begin with, and then. Oh, I'm sorry. Ed's issue wasn't that he didn't glue properly to begin with and then didn't give the glue time to set up the second time. I think I might be reading that wrong, Doug, but Ed's issue was that he didn't give the glue long long enough um, to set up. Uh, I'm making that inside. Could you could you comment on that, uh, Mark, as you were there? Yeah, you know, that's pretty much where it went. I think uh, he didn't use enough glue the first time and maybe probably didn't use the right glue. He got rounded in the end. Splendid. It's a good guy. Till it broke the second time. That was <laughs> that must have been your fault. No, uh, nothing to do with me then. Would Ed? Would Ed? Would Ed suggest it was your fault? No, I don't think he did. No. Told you, Ed's a good guy. He's very kind, very forgiving. You better not do, because then I placed an order with him for some stuff. <laughs> why, why wouldn't he? Because, you, I mean, anyway, <clears throat> he's very kind. He's very understanding. And I mean that, you know, I mean, it does, I mean, after all, when you set him up for to fail, I'm sure he carries no malice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's, he's like me. He's been asleep since last Saturday. He probably completely forgot who suggested it. Oh, some guy called Maple Tree Studios out in the chat has posted some lyrics. Mark, could you read them, please? Uh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> far, far beyond me to be able to manage that with my terrible, terrible disability. Oh, Douglas, it is being done with a Dremel. That's what Andy's using. It might look a bit different because he's actually got the camera taped under the Dremel. Uh, whoever you 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 win, do you feel you could do justice to the to the post from Maple Tree Studios? Uh, probably not with my good voice. Man. Good man, good man, well done. <laughs> uh, Tommy Dunn suggests go on, Basha. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh... I'd like to dignify it with its existence. Uh, if there was enough, if there was enough uh, sort of feedback out in the chat, I mean, I would happily read it. But I, I feel that the, I feel the crowd are looking for you, Mark. No, because it just encourages them. It just encourages the childish behaviour of my peers. <laughs> Herb says, somebody talking about sleep? What is that? Herb is the original insomniac. Yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, I mean, the blue light if I get two or three night two or three hours a night. The blue light tunnel says, Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? I've no idea why that's for, Mark, uh, Scott. You may want to. It's funny that somebody reading out the lyrics. You think so? I, 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 think, I think we need that. I think we need that. Well, I think see, we need that stated. Seen this out the seen this out there. You can read them. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the Dutch tunnel says, "Shared to Facebook and answer thanks, Dutch." <laughs> The blue light tunnel goes on to say, "Sleep yeah, is what you <laughs> sleep is what yeah. you do in a hangout when your mates are boring you." Pissing myself laughing. 
It's only because Scott fell asleep in a hangout and didn't wake up till eight o'clock the next morning. Oh, you are just lucky you didn't do that in a pub with us. You would have been drawn on, fag ash in the hair, the whole bit. Yeah, the whole <laughs> kitten kaboom. One eyebrow, gone. Oh, yeah. 14 watching, Andy. Come on, folks. If you like what Andy's doing, please, please, please hit that thumbs up. Scott, that's what made Scott goes on to say. I thought you were, thought we were, me, me mates. Yes, Scott, I mean, you, you wouldn't let a total stranger do it. You wouldn't want a total stranger to do that to you, no, would you? No. It's got to be a mate. It's got to be somebody you know that does something like that. Absolutely. It's like when you fall asleep and you've left your, if you slept, fall asleep with your phone in your hand, the only good thing, the, the, the only decent mate thing to do is to take it off your hands and message something to some total random stranger about how much you love them. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably, if you're a chap, message a chap. If you're, <laughs> if you're, <laughs> remind me never fall asleep in a pub with you, man. In your case, I probably can hack the phone. You'd use the same hand, which probably means I think we'll hide that one, Dutch. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll leave that one. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate the comment, though. I think. Um, um, uh, Douglas Mung, I'm saying Andy is very talented. He I is. totally agree. He is indeed. Why he lets us hang around with him is beyond me. Oh, yeah. Usual conversation starter. What did we all have for dinner? Did anyone have Jaffa cakes or Battenberg? No, Jean had pizza. Oh. Pizza. I haven't bothered. I had <gasps> barbecue chicken. With Shrita sauce, which is nuclear strength, banned under several articles of the Geneva Convention. Oh, I'd like to try some of that. Then. It's absolutely jaw-droppingly, tongue-meltingly awesome. Um, Tommy Dunn had chips. Uh, the Dutch tennis is right. Place to filter between between his inner demons and the keyboard won't happen again. Good. Not not too thick a filter between your inner demons, please, because, you know, they're here in like comedy. Had barbecue pork for lunch, says Doug. Douglas Mungham goes on to say, having said that, you guys making me, making, make my turning look like I used a pen knife to turn. <laughs> It wouldn't be me you're talking about there, Douglas. I'd do a scroll saw. If I can make your turning look like bad by using a scroll saw, there's something gone very wrong. Yeah. Well, saying that, I have, I have seen Steve Jones use a spoon to turn something. Oh. With a skew chisel. And I've also I've, seen him use a shovel as well. I've seen a man kill a man with a teacup. Though that oh. may have been a movie. In Diesel. Uh, it may have been a movie. Kind of thing. Oh, of someone... Well, it wasn't, it wasn't really a teacup. It was more of a tin can that had been cut in half. Ah, okay. Death by teacup. Um, Herb goes on to say, it's going to be roast with vegetables and lots of onions for him. Oh, nice. Tommy goes on to say, and now I have a bottle of Whistable Bay Pale Ale. Oh, very nice. Very nice. 
Yeah, we both Dutch Turner and Tommy Dunn have put in Riddick. Yep, yeah, Riddick. exactly. It's a good movie. Quite enjoyed it. Because he's a Furian. He's yeah. furious. He ends up being the leader of the Necromancers. Yeah. From the there's, Omniverse. There's Hamlet. There's, yep. there's, 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 um, there's Harder Jobs. Kill. There's Harder Jobs. Uh, Circular Keith by Wood says, I demo using a felling axe and also a shovel. Not very often, though. Perhaps a little show and tell, Andy. That's looking oh, awesome. That's, yeah, really cool. Like really good, man. Love it. Cool. It's coming on. Well, you mm. can see yeah. it. He's coming he along nicely. So, um, trying to get everything in that it's supposed to be in, and uh, yeah, then I'll get on to the the uh, lettering at the back. Yeah, which is there, um, and then I'll start on the bottom one. Cool. Uh, crisscross, and then go to the top. <clears throat> But I'll use a different bit for that. Um, so, yeah. Quite cool. Andy, would you say this is... Um, and I don't mean this to sound detrimental in any way. Would you say that this is more <coughs> engraving than carving? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just just asking. Just... Because it's, well, you know, it's, it's still very clever, very talented. Yeah, oh yeah, but it's it, a skill in itself, but, um, it, I suppose. But engraving as carving. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Technically, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, as in... <coughs> cool. Um, oh, yeah. Because you're essentially grinding it away rather than cutting it away. Does that yeah, make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so yes, I am. I'm grinding away the colour, and I'm getting the wood as well. Hence why. Is that, I don't know if it'll actually show, but you can see that. Oh yeah, no, it does. Oh yeah. It is embossed. Uh, so that's quite cool. Loving the loving the contrast. Looks mm. cool, man. Looks properly cool. Any questions or? Any bits and bobs anyone wants to know? Uh, the, the questions have been answered as they've been coming up, Andy. Telling the truth. Oh, cool, cool, cool. No, that's all good, man. Ooh, How yeah. do you feel about a marking approach to the general relativity? A what? A marking approach, approach to general uh, relativity. You ask if there's any questions. I feel that's a, re a very reasonable question. I appreciate, appreciate it's out of context, though. <laughs> Slightly out of context. Got me on the back foot. Not entirely sure. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. How's that? You, I'm, yeah, just gonna, send you I'm, I'm just going to answer that one with E equals MC squared. Yeah, but that's probably wrong. <laughs> it may well be, but well, that's, that's why I was just answer. checking it out. You know? right. I would have suggested... I'll get back to Calvin. <laughs> cool. Mark should answer... That would be an ecumenical matter. I could. But you are going to. I must keep that one in the back pocket for somebody coming into the chat and asking a question. Yeah. Doug Miller says, did you draw the design onto the black or was it done before the black was applied? Ah, Doug, that would be an ecumenical matter. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, I believe he drew it on after the black was applied, Doug. I think it's pencil, I think. Yeah, thumbs up to that answer. No, I should have been careful there because I think with with Doug with Doug Doug being a passer, he may actually have been able to correct me that it wasn't an ecumenical matter. In fact he has. <laughs> he has, yeah. <laughs> Choose the target more more wisely next time. Mike the Midnight Joker's in the chat. Here, Mike. Hello, Mike. We're doing well tonight. Well, the prison guards are doing well. Mark hasn't escaped yet. Not yet. I did warn them earlier. He's Don't. out, folks. Grab him. You'll never take me alive. Why did um, the horse have eight legs and it one V to answer when you next come off off a off of mute? You know, these would probably this would sell very well at Viking Guard. <laughs> Yeah, people would eat this stuff up, wouldn't they? Um, Blue Light Tunnel says, oh, yes, we will. <laughs> and Midnight Joker says, because it's an octo horse. Coming from that, coming from octo sharks. Octo pussies. Why aren't, spiders called, why, why aren't spiders called octa something? Just a thought. What's the Greek? What's the what's the the Greek or Latin word for 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 eight? Don't spiders only have six legs? With the technical No, they've got eight. eight. Have they? Did I, In, I insects have them. six legs. Spiders have eight. I never look at them quick enough. I kill them first. You, know, you, should, spiders. you should never kill spiders, Mark. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you should still never kill them because they eat all the nasty stuff. Don't care. I have a generally forgiving nature towards spiders, except under two circumstances. The first is if they are running across the living room floor. Yep. And the second is if they're walking across the ceiling above the bed. All other times, I'm extraordinarily forgiving. But in those two scenarios, the first, I behave like a child and pull my feet up off the floor and go, where have you gone, you little bugger? Um, adopting the approach that if I kill it, I know where it is. And the one above this bed um, sort of draws right, out all those demons. I can't find why spiders um Odin's horse has eight legs, but it is not just Norse mythology that an eight legged horse is included in. Ooh. Uh, Out in the chat. Can be found in this a staggering number of indigenous traditions from all over the world. Interesting. Interesting. All terrain all terrain horse is what we've got there. Um, out in the chat we have Wayne of the Big Feeties and I assume Val's with him. Hello. Uh, Wayne and Val. Good evening, Wayne and Val. Maybe it's because when they 
um, drew the pictures initially of the horses. They were trying to give the impression of the horse running. So by adding extra know. legs, made it look like it had motion. It could be. Do you see where I'm going with that? Yes. Yeah. To give an impression of movement. Just, just trying to think of it with a logical sense. Out in the chat, young Wayne of the Big Feet is saying, Hi, Mark. Wayne, tonight, Mark will be being Burt Reynolds. Okay, said it again. I'm merely going by the 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 other commentary. I mean, my moustache is nowhere near the class of Bert Reynolds, but I usually like to think more as dodgy Mexican than Bert Depends Reynolds. Which but... movie he was in, I feel. Yeah, he definitely had better moustache than me. Tom Selleck has a better moustache. Everybody has a better moustache than I do. So, I don't recall Burt Reynolds having a moustache in Deliverance. No, I don't I think, think he did. He, he was did. clean. No, he was clean shaven in that film. Yeah, and his hair was combed forward instead of combed back. Yeah, yeah. Just an observation. Man's a legend. Well, he was a legend. Um, out in the out in the the chat, we have a few more comments. We have Mighty Midnight Dota Octadale scrolls for patterns at the time. Tommy, um, Octadale, yeah, I could get behind that. Uh, Wayne of the Wayne of the Big Feet, he says, dodgy seventies porn star Tash, is it? Yep, um, yeah, I'll go with that. Um, I'm quite happy with that one. That's that's kind of where we're at, I think. You know. Uh, the Blue Light Tunnel says, oh, Deliverance, Mark, even has a banjo. No, I don't. It's a ukulele, ah, I thought. Shut It's a banjo lele. It's a banjo lele. Oh, it's like a, a thingy doodle, isn't it? Like it's a, a labradoodle. It's a banjo and like a ukulele. A, like a labradoodle. Banjo has five strings. Banjo lele only has four. I thought a banjo just was one metal bar that went across the lathe. Yeah, that it too. Is. So most of us have a banjo if we've got a lathe. Oh, I suppose technically, yeah, I've got two banjos. Isn't there a portion of somebody's person that's, if you're a gentleman, related to the banjo? I believe there is. Do you really want to go down that road? I'm just confirming that there is a part of a, a, a gentleman. It could be referred to as a banjo. So technically, you have three banjos. I believe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> technically. <laughs> da -da ding, 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 ding. <sighs> oh, dear. Um... Um, Douglas Mungham saying, Mark, think they're called a yucca banjo. A yucca banjo. Uh, well, they're, called, um, they're called a banjo lately. And Mike Mike made that joke saying, banjo oil cans. Robert Ladley's in the chat, folks. Hi, Robert. Hi, Bob. Mark's out in the chat again. Grab him. He's out there dodging around. Any, he? he's out there. Yeah, he's eastbound and down. Mark is out there strutting. Who's Joe? Why does everyone want a banner? Ha oh. <laughs> ha! Wayne, go and sit down. Be very quiet. Ponder. And ponder, ponder the remark. He's here all week, folks. Try the fish. Mm. 
Here's a question. Go on then. Why is it? Why is that a question? What can I use to clean a paintbrush that's had polyurethane varnish on it? Can I use meths, or does it have to be white spirits? I think I you're white spirit. Damn. I think you're buggered. Damn. Okay. I didn't want to keep you'd that paintbrush anyway. It. You'd have to get it. <laughs> You'd have to get it before it sets up. You know, while it's still effectively a fluid and movement, and then I think white, like Wayne says, I think white spirit. But if it's at any time to keep, go off, you're buggered. Was it a nice paintbrush? Uh, I would say it was a nice paintbrush. It was, it was like an okay paintbrush. Are you substituting the word paintbrush for something else? No. No, it was a paintbrush. Perhaps I've, a part I've, of I've, your anatomy under your nose? No, I've, 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 I may or may not have been varnishing a sphere while we were chatting. With your, with your mustache? That's very impressive. No, with a paintbrush. Oh, oh, I see. And now I've finished Varnishing the sphere. I was just wondering. Is it still wet? The is, the, is the brush still wet? Yeah, yeah. yeah you may get it with well, Wayne says white spirit. I reckon would be a best bet. Yeah, that's 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 going to be the, sort of the problem. Oh, because oh. don't have white spirit, but I do have mess. Right, out in chat, we have a number of comments. We have Douglas Mungham saying, "My dad had one." He could not read music, but he used to play it by ear. The same with the piano. He used to play the banjo with his ear. That's very impressive. It's a talent. It's a talent, sir. Uh, Tommy Dunk says, I know I can't think, I can't link it, but I'm not sure where that came from. I apologize, Tommy. No, Wayne, I think the big fruit. To put a link into the chat. Ah, jolly good. Uh, Wayne, the Bigfoot Woodcraft. Life's too short to clean paintbrushes. I feel there's a Zen moment coming from Yorkshire. Uh, Robert Lapsley says, Mark, buy a new one with the money you would spend on white spirit. That's, that's actually a very good point. It was only £1.25 for the paintbrush, so... Yeah. Mike the Midnight Joker says, the pot looks like the old black Wedgwood pottery. Yes, that's the stuff I was thinking of. Wedgwood. Tommy Dunn says, white spirit is what you need, as well as dedication. Do you tap dance, Mark? No. What was his name? Roy Castle. It might have been. Was it Record Breakers? Did Burt Reynolds tap dance? Robert laughs. That says you tight get. Are you Scottish, Mark? Or Wayne? I think I might be the you. Why me? Not sure. He <laughs> says you tight get. I think he's talking to Mark. Are you Scottish? No, I, I think he might be talking to Wayne Bigfoot. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Ah, that would complete the picture. I see. I see. Um, Tommy. Thomas Tommy Thomas Dunn says yes Mark nothing else Douglas Mungham says Mark don't drink the mauve stuff no no don't drink that I'm not that desperate and don't eat Brussels sandwiches either don't eat yellow snow well you definitely don't eat the yellow snow That does look really good, Andy. It's officially awesome, sir. We approve. Round of applause for the man there. I think Andy just keeps knocking it out of the park with all his projects. Just keeps getting better and better. I think he was pretty excellent to begin with. 
Oh, yeah. Herb's got to go. Night, Herb. Herb, go to bed, Herb. See you in the morning, Herb. Um, Robert Lapson says, Mark, 125 for a paintbrush, and you want to clean it? Oh, well, yeah, I just, I just, you know, don't like to be wasteful. Tommy Dunn says, Royal Castle. So I think we've got that part of the conversation now. He meant to you, Mark, you were right. It was indeed Roy Castle. Yeah, dedications, what you need. Uh, Douglas Mung goes on to say, Wayne, the yellow snow looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Probably won't taste Douglas so says, good, like. oh, Herb Hooper says, yeah, that ain't going to be out. Uh, that ain't going to happen. Bye, Herb. Bye, Herb. I take it he used the varnish you bought on the sphere or one of the spheres you did, Mark. Yeah, I just wanted to see what it looked like. He's down with a poly, isn't he? Stop seeing as I bought it. Might as well use it on something. He, he thought, oh, look at this. I've got a poly. I'm going to try it out. I've discovered it's quite difficult to apply varnish to a sphere. Dip it. Kind of, kind of gets everywhere. <laughs> dip, yeah. dip it. I've ended up uh, mounting the sphere on a small pin. Dip it. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's sort of the way I went. I sort of reverse dipped it. Like a toffee apple. Yeah, yeah. Well, I kind of poured it over the top. So it's got an even coat, but of course now there'll be a, a pinhole in the bottom. Midnight Joker says, Best Robber CP's premiere. <laughs> I'm trying to do him crying about it. It's gone, not gone well. Sorry. That's right, he'll still be there on Facebook and on uh, YouTube to watch. I think he was hoping for the premiere and to be there to support one of our friends doing awesome stuff under awesome conditions and not at all getting stressed. That reminds me, I need to go and wire up a 12 cam rig poker. I have enough trouble with one camera. I don't know how you manage 12. You know, it's a talent. That's all I'm saying. Tommy Dunn says, how will you stop the drips, Mark? Uh, well, like I said, I've, I've, I've pinned it. I've stuck a pin in it and I've put the pin in the vise. So the, the so you remember. put a pin in it. So perched you remember. on top of the pin. Oh, Wayne of the Big Feeties says, "Tommy, that's no way to talk about Wayne and Dale." Oh, I missed the trick. Tommy, how will you stop the drips? Oh, very funny, Wayne. Oh, very funny. Hey, Tommy ah. says, "MJ, he is a lot better than he makes out." And no joker. Ah, Rob CP. Yes, he is. Yes, he has confidence issues. Doesn't need to. He's very good. Looking good, Andy. Although right now we can only see the back. Hmm. I'll have you know, the size of me, I'm more of a splash than a drip. And there's definitely no, there's, there would be no stopping them anyway, so I don't, I just don't try. It's pointless. Pointless exercise. 
You sound better about that, Mark. No, not bitter. <laughs> Just resigned. <laughs> resigned to my fate. You resigned from being an earworm? Why are you still here? I'm still here. No, I'm not, I'm not resigning. I am resigned. Uh, oh, my bad. Sorry. Wayne, do you hear Mark's resigning from being an earworm? <laughs> that's because he's not getting paid. <laughs> ah, industrial it's, action. Yeah, yeah, because Wayne, Wayne won't pay us. And he pays us. Does he? Oh, yeah. He doesn't know it yet, but he does. I don't think he does. Oh, wait a minute. He's paying me in stools for this. That didn't sound right. Um, um, you can you can allow your inner demons or your good demons to d decide in the answer. Both are quite funny. I feel one is funnier than the other. I'll give you that. Uh, out on the chat, we see that Tommy Dunn says he's better at spindle work, meaning Rob CP, um, uh, and work and his work is way better than me anyway. Uh, Wayne of the Big Feet, he says, yes, Tommy, Rob's finished product was great. Uh, the Dutch Tunner says, thought Rob was doing the premiere on Sunday. The Blue Light Tunner says, we have lodged a formal group grievance about non-payment, says Scott. Who to, Scott? Uh, and Tommy Dunn says, stools, though, S-T-O-O-L-S. Blue Light Turner is asking a question. Question, Dale, what band are you on the Bristol, Bristol Steel chart. chart? No. Go and look it up, Dale. Have a look at the images. No, no I've worked it out. I'm certain <coughs> this has to do with poor. You know, yeah. I feel I feel brick hard and, and difficult is where I'm at. I'm not sure which band that is. I, I tend to arrive in all one of those things. I was telling the guys in the in the chat the other night that I used to do that type of training, and I used oh, to oh, have yeah. a little a little blue cotton bag with um, all of the uh, rubber um, stools in there, all the way from rabbit droppings through to very very loose diarrhea. Did you ever take in a fresh sample that you laid yourself? No. <laughs> and here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> uh, Barry uh, of Real Simple Things has arrived in the chat. Afternoon, Andy. Worms and all in the chat. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Douglas Mungham says, Earworms, how would Andy seal this inside and out so it can be used? The best way to do that is with resin. Or a wipe on poly. Polly put the kettle on. Uh, out in the chat, uh, Mark, the gentleman Woodton, informs us that his particular stool conforms to type 6. Tommy Dunn says, that's not a job I could do, Wayne. Well, luckily, I don't do it anymore. Um, and the mic, people are saying hello to young Barry. Hello, young Barry. He's bounding down. Mark is out there strutting. He's going to do some turning when we're done. No, no more turning today. Done my lot. We've got, got, got your, po 
You got your pool dance in practice, though, right? Yeah. I should do some more tomorrow when I do some filming. What, pole dancing? No, turning. Hmm. Okay. Got a video to film tomorrow. The blue light tunnel says, type six, Mark. We told you you were fully, you were fluffy. <laughs> he's so fluffy, even his poo. Drippy droppy. Yeah, see? No solids in my diet. It's all liquid food. Douglas Mungham asks Wayne like a clear coat? Yeah, I've seen people, well, I've actually seen people use um, use pitch for the inside of um, beer goblets and things. Uh, or two-part resin. Um, or, yeah, clear coat poly with a few coats on. Uh, Tommy Dunn says, Fluffy Poo! <laughs> Real simple things. Young Baza Librao is asking, When's the next scroll saw live, Mr. Kirkwood? I suspect it may be the 19th, depending on how things go tomorrow. If I get a lot done tomorrow, possibly next weekend. For a full on hot rig check. Excuse me. No. Oh, I see. A UV resin win? Um, it could be. I mean, I've never done it myself. I've only watched people on uh, YouTube Isn't who have done uh, drinking vessels with the, the inside uh, done with resin. He's a little chucky, so cute. He's a little, little chucky, little kitty, little, lovely, lovely. Look at the little dimples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting a bit of a. I thought you would have used your Versa for this. Um, Tommy Dunn says, well, the Whistable Bay Pale Ale was very nice. Glad you enjoyed it. He's a bit wobbly. Oi, oi, Mark, he's a bit wobbly. He's a bit wobbly. The, the goblet on his side, it's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Wobbly. I do like that tool. Huh? Oh, you do like the, the tool? I'm sorry. The tool that Andy's using, yeah. He's grasping his tool live on YouTube. Uh... Oh, Rob's just come in. Evening, Rob. Hello, Rob. We weren't talking about you, we promise. Hello, Rob. Hope the any, premiere went all right, mate. Any compliments that may or may not have happened will be denied strenuously. So I've got to ask Rob. Is it Rob Robocop, Rob, or is it just Rob CP? I think he answers to both. Does he? Is the answer to any other names? Uh, Not sure.
I've noticed there's a distinct lack of Steves in this chat. Where have all Good. the Steves gone? I believe they've been hijacked and borrowed um, or extivenished. That's not even a word. Just forget it. Don't tell anyone. It was just crap. Uh, Rob CP says, sorry, I write slow. Slow. Midnight Joker goes on to extend the Robocop theme with Officer Murphy or just Murph. And he answers to almost anything with hear ye, hear ye. Oh, you, where's my clicky pen? Where's my clicky pen? <laughs> Hold the door. Tommy Dunn says, oh, he hasn't seen Steve Ellis for a while. I must confess, neither do I. Anyone? No, no me neither. Wayne of the Big Feet, he says, Mark, where did you pick up your barrel from? for the extraction system. I can answer that one for you, Wayne. He did intend to go over Niagara Falls in it, so he borrowed it from a local park ranger. And the park ranger was obviously lied to him. Mark kept it and scampered all the way back to the UK with it. Honest. Hey, bye, Wayne. You're no fun. We've had a conversation about this. Let it sit. Go and tell him. Yes, you have to go onto a Canadian website and find the barrels there. You're a loon. Wayne of the Big Feet, he's then... Oh, sorry. Rob CP says, I wasn't supposed to pre to premiere before. It was by accident. It's scheduled for tomorrow <laughs> at 5.15pm. <laughs> Man's buffoon. Uh, Wayne of the Big Feet, he says, fed up of the small vacuum getting blocked. Don't let anyone near whatever you get with a blue pencil, particularly if one of them looks like Scott. <coughs> You know, Scott has taken extreme lengths to make sure that if it's his blue pen, it's appropriately identifiable. However, if it doesn't contain the appropriate letterings, it may or may not have been used by him, but it will be likely to be someone else. For more information on pen, a particular dedicated pencil, please reach out to the Blue Light Turner uh, with a postcard or an email marked, I want uh, a freaking blue light turner freaking pencil um, um, and subscribe to his channel. I'm sure he'll help. Was that you, Mark? Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to find the link. You're bottom with both hands. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. Here he is. That's looking shit hot, mate. What do you think? Andy believes it's quite good. Uh, Wayne, I've just sent... Getting there. Wayne of the Big Feeties, I've just sent cool. you the link. I was just taking a swig. Dr. Pepper? Never like make a coffee. score out you unless it's Dr. Pepper. I hear that's true. And there, there for anybody like else, that. there's the link in the chat. Looking awesome, Andy. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there very slowly. Right. Okay, cool. Right. I'm going to carry on because otherwise we're not getting it done. Okay. Okie okay. dokie. 
Lucky, looking very good. Doug Mellis thumbs upping. Obviously, P is saying cheerio to Dutch. Doug's a man, I'm saying Andy, that is the business. Thumb, 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 thumb. Many thumbs. I'm you sure that's the link in Mark. No link, Mark. You've failed. Got the blue light pencil provider is is saying Wayne of the Big Feeties Wix have some ninety liter bins for thirteen pounds. That's what he has bought for his high clue. My approach is to just buy some Sheffield engineering that does the whole bloody thing for you. Oh, there's a fly. There's a fly. It's in his hand. Quick, get it. There's a fly. Oh, Mark can't put the link in because he doesn't got oh. a spanner. Mark doesn't have a spanner. He's out in the chat again. Someone stop him. Grab him, folks. He's gone out without his meds again. He'll get into trouble. And you'll find him sitting on a street corner holding a sign saying, We'll turn for wood. At which point he will enlighten you and entertain you with his pole dancing skills. Uh, Douglas goes on to say blue light. I have used a metal bin on his cyclone. It's probably a good idea in some respects, Douglas, because of the, yeah, it's probably uh, less chance of it collapsing yes, uh, with the yes. vacuum. Yes. Rob C.P. has had a number of chuckles at, uh, at Mark's comments previously. Mark, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry, I was muted. What were you doing, Mark? Fess up. Vaping. Were you vaping, Mark? I was vaping. How do you feel about that? Sure. Very good. Share with the group. I'm very happy to be vaping because if I wasn't vaping, I'd be smoking. You know, it should have been. I'm Mark, the gentleman would turn her high, high, and it's been 73 seconds since I last vaped. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rob C.P. goes on to say he was laughing at uh, your craziness, Mark. Oh, he was saying he was laughing at your craziness, Dale. I feel that's not correct. That's just a slip of the keyboard, I'm sure. Uh, D-A-L-E. No, nowhere near. The, the letters aren't the same. Only the A. The L's the nowhere near the K and the L are next to each other. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah. The M and, and the, the D are nowhere near each other. And the A is e in the, the same K. place. And the A is in the same place. E and the K are totally separate parts of the keyboard. And the, and the A is in the same place. Would you concur? Probably, obviously, that. But... Yeah, so it's just a spare. It's just a typo. I'm sure it was somebody correct. Yeah. Um, Doug's morning goes on to say, my cyclone is a big bag chip collector attached to a super dust deputy. Ah, a gentleman of the United States variety. Um, Wayne of the big feeties. I intend to use a wheelie bin on the large vacuum. 
And Magna 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 Joker says, I used a cardboard space drum for a while, but it eventually uncoiled. I have no idea what a cardboard space drum looks like. Well, I'm that's a very nice. It's a drum. Sorry. Sorry, I'm assuming it's a cardboard drum. Yeah. I had a very nice lady come around today and take away five bags of shavings, two of which came out on my blue drum. And that's the first time I've emptied it since I had it. Very happy with it. Douglas Mung goes on to say, like a two-stage filter. Doing about rocking. It's doing about rocking. You all right, Mark? Sorry, you all right, uh, Andy? All going well. Thumbs it's up. going well. It's going really well, people. It looks absolutely awesome. I understand you, you painted this, Andy. Do you think you could achieve something similar by burning the wood? Yeah, it'd be uh, it'd just be the totally opposite effect. What about if you sandblasted it and painted it? Um, if you sand with you, I don't think it'd work very well sandblasting it. If he was, if he would use the likes of uh, ash or oak, that would sandblast quite well, but it probably wouldn't carve as good because of the open grain. Mm. First detail ring almost finished. One more to go, Andy. Final piece on this bomb. You're going to do a little show and tell before you go into the last ring, sir. It's looking very good, Mike. It's looking very good. What's everyone drinking tonight? Uh, Diet Coke. With Jack Daniels. Oh, Red wine, no Jack, da Jack Daniels and Coke. Jack and Coke. No. Got no alcohol. Why not? Skint. Ah, that'd be a good answer. Make some. Got a large bin, you could probably boil something up. <laughs> Any uh, window wiper solution? God, I'm not that desperate. Um, uh, Robert Lasley says he's on the wine gums. Hardcore. When I was in Germany in the army, you, we used to buy cheap vodka to put in the screen wash because it was cheaper than buying screen wash. <laughs> I was explaining that just to, I was actually just explaining that to someone tonight. Um, earlier on about what the screen wash was effectively alcohol and that's why it didn't freeze. Yeah. But you know what it's like. People go, no, it's not. You go, yes, it is. No, it's not. It's blue. 
would you prefer it said on it? I said Smonov. The other thing we used to do, the, you know, the uh, the grow spear with the flip off top. Yeah. Yeah, we used to steam the label off that, drink the beer, and fill all the bottles up with vodka and steam the label back on again to bring a, a to bring back crates of it. Now that is ingenious. <laughs> uh, Tommy's out in the chat and he says it's filled up with Rob's AI of a sudden. Hi, Roberts. Robert Dolman is in the chat, folks. Hi, Robert. Hello, Robert. Welcome along. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Uh, Midnight Joker goes on to say, that explains why Wicked tastes like screenwash. Or to be more precise, WKD. Yes, sir. That's looking really good, man. Really good. Yeah, yeah. that is nice. Nearly done. Top ring. Oh, we're going on side on view. side on view. side on view. That's with uh, his new homemade camera. Right, Doug Douglas said, Wayne, that looks very white for you. Um, it could be because um, the the colour's being bleached out, and on the other hand, it could be because uh, there's a lot of um, sap wood. Proper job. Be because the, the, sap, the sap wood in you is very white. Um, Rob asks, is Andy following pre-drawn lines? Yes, he is, mate. No, he's using magic. Making it up. Yeah. No, no, I, I am using pre-drawn lines. He no, made it up see. prior. There you go. Yeah, you can just make see? them out. I mean, that's so about as much as I can see as well, so they, they're more of a, a rough guide, to be fair. Um, Guidelines. How long we got left? How long? Yeah. So yeah, I reckon you've got safely 30, 35 minutes. Okay. Let's go on with the lips time to, to wrap up properly. Yeah, that's it, man. All right. Back in a minute. Stay on target. Stay on target. As I said earlier, Robert Lobsley says, proper job. Uh, Wayne of the Big Feet, he says, looks great, Andy. I will catch up later. Going to have to go, folks, as family video chat is in a few minutes. Shall we go and gate crash, everyone? Wayne's family chat. Doug Miller says, beautiful stuff, Andy, but he has to run. Ciao, Wayne. Bye, Valerie. Bye, Wayne. Bye, Val.
dun, dun. Very fine ring at the top. So many. Hello, Wayne. <coughs> Hello, Andy. Hello, Mark. Hi, Cindy. Good evening. Hi, Mark. Mark's Basha. Oh, Julian. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cindy, Jean says hello as well. <sighs> Classic. <laughs> uh, oh, God. <sighs> Colin Roberts is never around when you need him. <laughs> it's all his fault. Well, quick news for the group. Drilly might be getting retired. <gasps> really? Yeah. Why? What's happened? Found a new one. Oh, no. Drilly. Can't retire, Drilly. He has to go out in a shower of sparks. No, there's still a lot of life in it yet. Um, Douglas Mungham saying he's noticed a pink, pinky hue on the horse's mane. Would that be wood, colour, or paint? It would be the wood because it's, it's, it's wood. That's the, yeah. It's pr that's probably where the um, where the hardwood is. It's where the hardwood's starting to show through a bit. Because it's you. Hi, Andy. It's looking really good. Bye, uh, bye Julian. Bye, Cindy. <laughs> JP. Don't, don't blame, 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 don't blame, blame JP. me. Blame, blame JP. <laughs> <laughs> if you're still there, if you're still there, tell her that Jane said hello. Jane says hi, Sunny. He says, "Are you okay?" I can hear her shouting just outside the door, kind of thing. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Oh, Douglas, it really isn't getting the send-off. I'll just probably stop using it on lives. Needs a T-shirt. Still got lots of life in Drilly yet. Needs a T-shirt. Did you hear what I said about Jane? Jane says hi. I say hi. Okay. Then you said hi back, Jane. Hi back, yeah. Yeah. You don't recognize Mark or Basha, you just recognize Julian. Okay. You recognize Jane, obviously. <laughs> Splendid. Had the blue light yeah. said hi, Sunny. She's wandered off now, folks. Douglas Monning says, Aroms, I've noticed a pinky hue on the horse's mane. Would that be the wood colour or paint? Yeah, we've answered that one, deal. I'm sorry. That's okay. You were busy doing other things. 
the boss was talking to me. Oh, Bob, seeing that could cost me a few subs. There's a lot of drill fans out there. There's yeah. a lot of drill fans out there. You need a drilly t-shirt in your store, man. Tacos Mangam, you're right. You can hear Jaffa Cakes. Hashtag save drilly. Hashtag sofa for Joe. Just saying. <laughs> Hashtag more Jaffa's for Dale. Yeah, well, there's five back sitting in sitting in the kitchen here for you, Dale. As soon as I can get up, man. As soon as I can go. Safe drilly. Yeah. Scott, that needs a T-shirt. Mark's out in the chat again, folks. Grab him. Mark's got a spanner now. Did you put the link in, Mark, since how you got a spanner now to that blue drum? Yep. Oh, you did? Sorry, I must have missed that. No, oh, just done it. Done just it. just right. done it, yeah. Grand. Thank you. Douglas is saying, hashtag Jaffa Cakes for Dale. Just saying. Andy, the part you're working on is just off shot. Grant. That's better. If you're aware of any power tools that are being retired before the time, get in touch with the Wayne the Woodturner helpline for drills, hammers, routers, the odd, the odd tub of wax, yeah, routers, routers, even oh, vicious files. skews, even vicious skews that have <laughs> found their way into our. <laughs> Or into Wayne. <laughs> Contact <laughs> Wayne the Woodturner Sanctuary for, for, for used power tools. Dale, were you Will in the be... chat when we when we found out a couple of weeks ago why it is that Wayne has so many routers? No. He keeps asking Jane to go and get a new router for their laptop and she comes back with a router instead. Is this true, Win? No. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I, I made it up. Notice, notice that I qualified that because I'm sitting here thinking that doesn't sound like Jane. Jane, Jane. Jane, that doesn't sound like the kind of mistake Jane would make. Go on. <laughs> Tell me sorry, if Wayne. Good idea. Hashtag Team Ruta. Now, Tommy's just said I can put a masonry bit in the drill and drill it to the wall and leave it there. <laughs> Ooh. Drilly. You'll need a t-shirt if you retire tire drilly to wear instead. Little icon on the screen. Here comes Drilly. Can turn a plinth for him. In one of your lives. Plinth for Drilly. I might make a new jig up and just use Drilly in the jig. Drilly ending his days dancing a jig. That seems fitting in some fashion. Oh, 
what I need to do is take the, the tool post off the, the metal jig I've got uh, to get the, um, the one that fits my, fits the banjo on my lathe <coughs> and then I can just have drilling in that. That works. Look at some mangum so. Dale, there is a Jaffa cake recipe that uses a flan case as the base orange, flan case as the base, orange juice and jelly for the middle, whipped thick cream mixed with chocolate as the topping. What you've got there is a cake. It's not a Jaffa cake, sadly. It does sound quite nice, though. I do still keep seeing adverts for that Jaffa cake gin. Mm. Can I just comment on the fact that I did build enough space into my new workbench to take a beer fridge? Ah. Forward planning, that is. I thought so. I thought so. It's only a small fridge. It'll only be like a six-bottle fridge. But there's definitely space for it. Power, right height. Just need to order the bloody thing. To be honest, is to put the milk in. If I'm absolutely honest, because <laughs> while the while the instant milk or the long life milk is perfectly reasonable in a short period, of, there's nothing like having proper milk in your tea. It does not taste right without it. Don't know. Don't drink tea. No, I don't drink tea oh. either. I drink coffee. Oh, I never use milk either. Thought there was something wrong with you two. You're not British, I say. Who let these people in here, Andy? Was it you? And Jane, Jane doesn't take milk in her tea either. See, I don't see any point in drinking tea because when I do drink it, I have it so weak. It's basically just boiling water with milk in it. <laughs> Mike says he does hope that the breakup between Drilly and Wayne wasn't because of creative differences. <laughs> Drilly splitting up the band, going solo. <laughs> oh, where'd that go? <laughs> that flew off. Get back here, you pesky little sand and drum. It must be quite fine, that sand and drum, because it's not, not affecting the paint at all. It's a brush, isn't it, I think? Is it a brush? Yeah, I'll see now. So, Mike is asking you, Mark, if you've got a link for Drilly's channel. Um, I haven't. I think it was uh, Dutch Turner who started a channel for Drilly. Did he? I think he started a Facebook group. I haven't seen that. Oh, it's for Drilly. It's not for you. <laughs> Drilly has his own OnlyFans page. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Really? <laughs> Out in the chat, we have. I just hope the breakup between Drilly and Wayne wasn't because of creative differences. Probably done good one to say powdered milk is in tea is horrible. Uh, Douglas Mungham, Dale, six bottles and three packets of Jaffas in said fridge. Um, Mike, 
Midnight, uh, Mike the Midnight Joker says, have you got a link for Drilly's channel, Mark? The Blue Light Turner says, there was a distinct lack of Jaffa Cakes in Dale's workshop last night because the place was filled with wood. Um, uh, Douglas Mungham, uh, and you didn't bring any. Um, uh, Douglas Mungham says, Blue Light, Dale at the moment. Who ate all the Jaffas? Probably me, and if it wasn't me, it might have been Scott, and if it wasn't Scott and Andy was around, Andy will be looking shuffly. Oh. So... And he's using Yorkshire Grip Microfine to 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 polish and clean the surface. Microfine operates as if it's between one thousand and two thousand grit sandpaper, so it's very very fine. Just the thing you want to do is what you want to do is add a little bit of luster to paint and um, carving of wood, where you just want to give it that little bit of shine rather than potentially sand through it. Ah, new toy. New toy about to make an appearance. The Dremel Versa, which is a polishing and, and light abrasive uh, uh, cleaning tool. It's battery operated. It's pretty cool. So cool that I bought one. Real simple things. There seems to be a distinct lack of Jaffa cakes in my house for the two weeks. Wife's getting sacked, says Baza. Well, get yourself to the shop, Barry. Lazy sod. <laughs> uh, Douglas Mungham says, do I have an account with the manufacturer? No, but I do have an account with a wholesale distributor. Oh, it's a bit splashy. It's a bit splashy. Is that a bit splattery, Mark? Eh, is that a bit splattery, Andy? Yeah, yeah. You must be able to put your mic on now, mate. Everyone hear how noisy the wonderful little verse is. That's another job for Drilly, says Tommy Dunn. Open wider, please. Oh. So, so the Versa is Drilly's somewhat younger and aw mm. more awkward cousin. Why more awkward? Don't you oppress Versa? Quieter. So how long will a charge let that first run then? Um, about an hour, I think it is, That's roughly, good. give or take. Half an hour constant use. I'm going to turn it off just for now. Just let... See what it's done to the yep. pad, though. Yeah, it's probably picked some peeing up. Rub down with a cloth. Tommy Get Dunn it. says it's the younger and more eco friendly cousin of Drilly. It's looking really cool, man. Yeah. Really, it really cool. does. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. No, um, a coffin wheel wouldn't be too rough. Uh, it just all depends on what sort of. Um, finish you want on the piece as to whether you use a, a button wheel or not with um, with the different waxes and things you put on the button wheels.
Brings it up lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Wee. Considering that's matte paint, that's not too bad, so. That's really gorgeous. Yeah, it is. That's an absolute have a, beaut, aren't we? Let's have a money shot properly, mate. Cool. Oh, no, you get my ugly mug again. Right, well, well, I feel it's a risk Moose. we're willing to take. Right. Burr, 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 cam. Ugly mug cam. Shame you can't rename these. You can. I'm going to get my OBS going. Come on, Cam, thank you. Oh, that's an interesting view. Ah. Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. Look at that, man. Stunner. Boom. Boom. Spot on. There are a couple of little imperfections. I couldn't see um, that. Shush. Yeah, I well, I put in my art. Look, there was one that I'm going to leave in there that's like an artist tag. So, um, right, is that where you cross hatched it at the top? Yeah, yeah. You saw that then? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, just a single one. So that's just my little. He's fine. Thing to go in I there. I didn't. I never noticed. Looks awesome, sure. buddy. Totally Monica. awesome. Totally awesome. Cool. So there we go. Happy days. Cool. Splendid, sir. Splendid. Like that. Right, cool. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming in. Are you all right if I bring you back, boys, for a bit? No. Yeah? Yeah? No. Yeah. I'm not. I'm shy. Oh, look at that. You've done it to me. Look at hide. Look at hide. Hang behind the mic. Cool. So that's the end of tonight's live. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, guys. The computer didn't break down. The internet didn't die. Amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well done. We got there. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everyone, for coming. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and uh, thanks to my worms, as per usual. Take it easy, guys. Have a good weekend. Um, and don't forget, there's a massive list of people. You all know who they are by now. We're not going to run through it. So check everyone out. You know who they are. Have fun. Take it easy, folks. Have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. Hit the hey, bloody button. Hit the button. <laughs>